this time last year, I was driving through the scorching Australian outback with my father, Gil Cameron, and the Italian documentary maker, Mario Bucci. We were following the World Series sprint cars and chasing all of the legends, fans, and mechanics involved in the iconic 80s period. We were pretty successful and met a whole cast of wild and colorful characters. However, there was one person missing. We've talked to all of the champions of the 1980s so far. We've interviewed them, been in their homes. The only one we are missing is Gary Rush. <laughs> Russia's around. He's around, um, yeah. yeah. He's a hard man to find. Hard man to find. <laughs> Some pe a lot of people never liked him, but um, yeah, now I've got a, two or three of his t shirts. And... Oh, Gary was a psycho case. And I mean that nicely. I was always a fan of Gary's, and, and I always listened to what he said, so whatever he'd done, right or wrong, it's done, so yeah. Why is he the best? Because none of these blokes could catch him. I used to go and play golf with Gary Rush. He was the best at the time and uh... if you ring him up at his work pick and pay less you'll be able to get him there no one could find him you know where he would be right now that we could find him no one after finishing an amazing documentary on the history of sprint car racing in australia maru and i couldn't help but wonder that we probably could have found gary rush if we tried a little bit harder after a month of phone calls and begging and pleading, we finally got our hands on his private number. And we knew we owed it to the fans and ourselves to at least try to include his voice in our documentary. Uh, hey, uh, I was wondering, is this the number of Gary Rush? Yeah, hey mate, uh, my name's James uh, and I'm the son of Gil Cameron, who you used to race against a long time ago. Uh, probably all over Australia, just in, uh, in on the speedway fields through the 80s. Um, I've been making a documentary on the history of Australian sprint car racing through the 80s. And I was um, traveling around Australia last year. But uh, we want to come back because you were the last champion that we didn't get to talk to. And of course, our documentary wouldn't be complete if we didn't get a chance to talk to you. I understand that. Uh, we're going to be over from uh, Germany in January. So it, we can work out the details and we can fit your schedule. Fuck. <laughs> What's up? I wouldn't take the last coin. Shit, that's very unprofessional. <laughs> 